Hello, my name is Heather. I'm an oil painter and a mixed media artist. Today I'm going to be working on my altered book. This is episode 9. We're going to be working with crackle paste and distress inks and some other cool stuff. So let's get right to it. I am working in this book for the first time. So the first thing that I'm going to do is get some Mod Podge and glue the, the front page to the cover. Okay, then the next step is you're going to pull up a page and you're going to glue them together. And you're going to glue like two or three pages together. It's really up to you on how thick you want it to be. I think I do like two or three. Okay, so you will have the front page glued to the cover, and then you'll have two sets of three or four pages glued together. Okay, so then the next step is I'm going to get my Mod Podge, and I'm just, I've just torn up bits of paper. Uh, you can use anything that you like, any kind of um, paper. You can use magazine clippings. You can use... Um, just anything music paper I'm using some script paper and some music paper and I'm just gonna use Mod Podge to glue that down Okay, and once that is really dry, I'm going to get some water and some gesso. And I'm just going to spray some water on the book and um, put a little bit of gesso and just cover both pages. Okay, so once you have it all covered with gesso and water, um, and you do the water to thin out the gesso so you can see underneath, and then I'm going to put this paper towel down, and when you pull this up, you're going to get the patterns in the paper towel. Okay, and then once that is completely dry, you're going to get out your crackle paste, and this is Ranger's uh, crackle paste, and I'm just going to smear this on in different places. I'm using a palette knife to um, apply the crackle paint.
once this layer is dry, I'm going to do a wash. So I'm going to take some burnt umber, acrylic paint, and water and put it all over the entire piece. Okay, so the next step is I'm just going to get out some clear gesso and I'm just going to put a coat over the entire piece. For this step, you want to put your altar book in a box. You don't want to spray this with your book open um, or you're going to get it all over the place. So get a box and then get your distress, um, a little sprayer and some distress inks that you want to use. And I believe I'm using, um, I think it's crackled egg and another gray color. I'll put it in the description box. I can't really remember. So you just spray the Distress Ink on the piece where you want it. You can create drips and different, different things. And the more water that you add, the more kind of distressed look that you get. I'm just creating some darker drips and this is really up to your taste you can do as much or as less as you like and this is a blue shimmer spray and I get a little carried away with this one but I'm creating some drips and using water Okay, so this is what it looks like all dry and now I'm going to get out a stencil and I have this little clock stencil and I'm just going to take some black gesso and I'm going to messily um, take this sponge and do the stencil but I don't want the stencil to be perfect if that makes sense I'm just kind of doing it messy this layer is dry I have some gesso and some water and I'm really watering down the gesso and I'm gonna make some drips and some splashes and splatters Once that layer is dry, I'm just using this little die cut and I'm just going to use, use it to trace a square. You can just draw the square um, in the middle of your page. Okay, then you're going to get out your X-Acto knife and you're going to cut this square out.
So I'm going to get some Distress Ink. This is Vintage Photo. And I'm just going to kind of go around the edge of the frame. Then I have this Posca marker and I'm going to use this and just fill in the inside of the frame. Okay, so then the next step is I have this pretty napkin and I'm going to take some Mod Podge and I'm going to use this on the back side of the frame that we created. So I'm putting down a layer of Mod Podge, then I'm going to lay down my napkin and then I'm going to do another layer of Mod Podge on top of that. Okay, so these are the focal points that I have chosen for my project. Um, you can use any, any kind of focal point that you want to use. Um, I'm going to put it down with art glitter glue. I'm just gluing the back and then I'm going to put this piece inside the frame on top of those flowers. Once I have that glued down, I'm going to do a coat of Mod Podge over the entire piece on this page and then I'm going to glue those two, two pages together. So the frame will actually lay down on top of the focal point. Okay, so once that is dry, I got my Posca pen out or my Posca marker and I'm just going to go around the edge of the frame and kind of um, make the line a little bolder so that it will pop out. And then I'm going to go um, around all of my vocal points and um, do a little shading with it as well. Okay, so now I'm going to get out my fine liner and inside of my fine liner I have an airbrush medium and some acrylic black paint and I've mixed it up and I'm just going to do some messy scribbling. I think I'm going to write Mona Lisa smile in a, just a, a really like a scribble. Ok, 
Okay, and now I'm just going to go through and go over my focal points so that they will pop out. Now I have some silver sparkly stickles and I'm just going to do this over her crown to make it shiny and sparkly. And then I'm just taking a little bit of acrylic paint and dabbing it on her hair to add interest. Last step here is my stipolo and I'm going to go all around the entire piece and kind of shade it and this is activated with water so if you put a little water on it it'll smear around this is really great to shade And here is the final piece. I think it turned out really cool. I hope that this has inspired you to create in your altar book. Um, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, I hope that you will for future art videos. Um, also, I have some journals for sale in my Etsy shop, which is Heather Wilkerson Art, if you're interested. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye!